So, hello and welcome back. This time we will take a look at the Net2 challenge. And in this challenge we want to add four unsigned 32-bit integers together. So let's see how that looks like when we connect to it with Netcat. And it runs on this port. So as you can see we get seemingly random ASCII characters back. But these are 32-bit integers, and then we need to send these integers added together back as also an integer. So let's do that. And first of all, we need to have socket connection. And we also want to um, pack and unpack the integers in the correct format. So first of all, we need to create a new TCP socket. And then we want to connect to our target, which is this one. And the port is this one. And then we want to have a list for our numbers. We will have four numbers, so, and our first number will be four bytes because um, we have 32 bit integers and if you convert these bits to bytes then we end up with four bytes and we will do the same thing for the other numbers as well like that then we need to um, as we've seen previously they get sent as raw bytes so we need to unpack them as integers so Py python can work with them and we do that by reassigning them to their unpacked version. This format just stands for the endianness and we want to have it as an integer and this is our input and it returns a list so we only want to have the first item of that and we will also do the same thing for the other numbers and also the input needs to change here. And then all we have to do is sum them up like that. And this should give us the correct result as an integer. Then of course we need to pack it back like, like that. And of course we also want to see if our addition here was successful. Because as we can see we will receive a message back. So let's receive this message. 512 bytes should be enough and I think that's already it but we also want to specify the inter in interpreter which is python in our case mm, and I think that is it so let's see if it worked and it didn't work. Why is that? We did a slight mistake there. And this is well, a habit of mine because I usually program in C languages, but now it should be fine, right? And as you can see, we've added the numbers successfully. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.